let not anything be done <clears throat> through the flesh and it is not by your merit that you are saved It is a gift of God and it is by grace the unmerited favor of God We must understand that though it is unmerited it's still a favor God seeks to bless you and me and it is not because of our performance and indeed anything that rises out of your own self worth and what i mean is with the flesh is an abomination to god it is not competition but completion as these days it's becoming more and more real to me about what it means to live a life of self sacrifice I understand what it really means now when Jesus said the son of man came to serve and not to be served I'm not saying that this concept was alien to me or that I did not know it but lately the lord has been changing it from knowledge to reality in my life where i'm doing things that even surprise me that i know that i could not do before but only by the lord's grace and his help can i do these things and when i do them i see the lord working miracles all he wants me to do is do he will do the rest but again not by might not by power but by the holy spirit so let not the arm of flesh rear its ugly head as the holy spirit moves in our life let's not destroy that move in our life with anything that is fleshly that's worldly that we think is good no it is what the holy spirit says is good and he's moving in our life as seen in the example with the song we need to follow jesus not any tradition or even the lyrics that are written or on the screen when 
the holy spirit leads us in a certain way are we willing to move or are we going to just be set on traditions that mean nothing this was a test of our heart where we are it's the test for some to understand they that they are rebellious without them knowing it and it is so that you understand why sometimes you don't see the move of god in your life because god is telling you one way and you stick with what is safe knowing that this is safe but maybe not knowing that this is not where the lord is I'm at peace where the Lord is. Moses said, I will not go where your presence does not go. And in the new covenant we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. And it's beyond what Moses said. but it's saying yes to the lord in everything everything that we do and we are a work in progress sometimes we don't know sometimes we know but we don't do or we don't obey the lord what do it is there is a move where the holy spirit will highlight these things to us so that we can change we have the power to change this cleanse your heart hands you sinners that means you have the power but you have to decide to cleanse your hands and draw near to god what the way is off the flesh wash it off because only the spirit can glorify the spirit and those who worship the lord will worship him in spirit and truth holy american told me that she had a testimony Let us hear what she has to say. Uh, hi. Uh, I'm really grateful to be here right now. I thank God for all that he has done for me and how he keeps showing me that he's control he has the control over my life. I Sorry. He has enabled me to know and hear His word from a young age, and His works throughout our lives, from Appa Sealing and COVID, the church, the Bible study, and being able to be a part of the ministry. The biggest testimony I've seen are from Appa's and Amma's life, how they lead every day, trusting in God. they always keep telling us that everything is just a prayer away uh in my case god has done many things in my life but if there was a time when i felt like i've got lost all hope and the only thing that could save me now was a miracle was uh during my 12th academically uh, it was not great nor was it health wise uh, but in 
by the end of the year, uh, nearing model exams and the final final exams, I realized I can't do this on my own. I would I would literally fail at this point. I didn't I didn't even know which problem to tackle first. That how mess it was. Uh, but God heard my silent prayers. It got to a point I was praying for the rapture to happen before my exams. <laughs> but yeah, like, but he heard my prayers and by the last minute, even for like max, my parents found like a tuition teacher in the last minute and I was able to actually survive the exams I did well. And then after the exams, it was like, now what? I, I knew I wanted to do designing. I wrote a lot of exams. I think most of the exams. Uh, I didn't qualify for few, but the ones I did, it almost felt like I was settling for less. But then the FDDA exam happened, the college I just got into. That was also a weird story. Actually, I was with, at my grandparents' place, Amma's parents' place in Irki, and I thought the exam was happening like online. And I was actually chill about it uh, until I opened the admit card the day before the exam and I realized it was happening in a exam hall uh, in Fort Kochi. And um, and like so, I I I realized that I looked at my parents, and I was like, I'm done for. I'm dead. <laughs> I look at my father. He walks off, ang a bit angry, and then I'm waiting for everyone to yell at me because, yeah. And but then after some time, my some time actually. Appa comes back and he says, it's fine, we can make it. And then we come back to Kochi that night and then write the exam the next morning and goes back to Idiki again. And then a month passes. I wasn't really confident about the exam. I, I didn't really care about the results. And a month later, the results come out. I look at the scorecard, we all look at the scorecard. I, I, I stand there, I stare at it and I'm like, this can't be legit. Or that there was some typing error because what was written in it was, congratulations Megan Ellis Ranjit, you have acquired a All India rank, merit rank of 107. And yeah, I was surprised, really, I didn't expect it. And yeah. God, the, this was all God's plan. Like, when I look back, there is no other plausible explanation. And he has hmm, granted the desires of my heart. He was faithful throughout. Uh, yeah, I'd like to thank God for Pastor, Uncle, Anu, Auntie, all the uncles and aunties at church, my friends, all the kids. I'll be going next week, uh, su next Sunday morning, and yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hallelujah. Like I said before, there is a move of the Lord in our life that is different. In Jeremiah, we read the Lord saying, call unto me and I will teach you 
great and mighty things, things that you don't know. And the Lord has been doing that. We understand, even from the prophet Jeremiah, in Jeremiah 29, 11, the Lord is saying, I know the plans that I have for you. The plans for peace and prosperity. And that when you look back, there's nothing missing, nothing broken. <laughs> And last week, we understood that we are in the new covenant and in the new covenant we inherit the kingdom of God and the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace and I can't hear you. Which ice cream? Joy ice cream, yes. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. And that Holy Spirit, He's moving in our midst right now. And Jesus has become our righteousness. The joy of our Father is our strength. Jesus is our Prince of Peace. And that strength we can have only through the Holy Spirit. Otherwise, we are going to depend on the arm of the flesh, on the strength that we have, on the willpower that we have. So we need to understand that it is the Holy Spirit that empowers us. And what is restricting that Holy Spirit it are the lies that the world has told us. And these lies manifest in our lives as burdens because the Bible says, cast your burdens unto the Lord and He will sustain you. He cares for you. That means everything Thing and anything that burdens you is a lie. And what are you supposed to do? Cast it to the Lord and he'll give you the truth. His name is Jesus and he, Jesus will tell you what to do and that is the wisdom of God. There is nothing spooky about this. Even money is just Nothing before the Lord. Like I said, difference between one and one crore are a bunch of zeros. Hallelujah. If I hand out zeros to you, would you take it? No. That's why the currency of heaven is faith. And by faith, we rejoice. Amen. And we rejoice. We may not see with our eyes, but we see through faith. Faith is the substance of things unseen, unseen by eyes, not by the eyes of faith. Because Jesus used those eyes when he said, I do only what I see my father doing, not with his own eyes here on earth. Do you understand? Yes? So with that in mind, let's get up and let's shout out unto him. Now, for example, it may be sad that Megan is leaving. I'm sure Ranjit and Vijo will feel that sadness. But isn't it for her betterment? Isn't it for her study has not the Lord done something in her life and opened this door? So then we rejoice. Do you understand? Same thing. When you die in the Lord is nothing but graduation. If you keep your eye on the things above, 
Hallelujah. Is nothing but graduation. Hallelujah. You will see that person again. Why I'm saying that is because last week I heard a pastor talk about his grandmother. Now he must have been in his 30s of something like that. His, either his grandmother or his great grandmother. She was on her deathbed. And every family member wanted her to live longer. But then he said to his mother, she's already 95 or 96. Isn't it time for her to leave this planet and go to Jesus and be with Jesus and be happy? Doesn't she deserve that happiness? And his mother said yes. And so he said, let's then release her into that. Are you in agreement with me? And she said yes. So they both went to her deathbed where she was clinging on to life because everybody didn't want her to die. And they spoke to her and they said, we're going to release you in prayer and, and to Jesus. And they did that. And within an hour or two, she died and she went to be with Jesus. There is no sorrow. Hallelujah. Because death has lost a sting. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And another pastor, I think he had told me this way back 20, 30 years ago. I don't remember, 20 years ago. He said, this relationship that we start now, he was talking to me, is for eternity. Because it'll continue. Because we will know each other in heaven also. Uh, I, I, I almost told him as a joke, I don't want to know you that much. Yeah? <laughs> but, but then if I said that, he would probably rebuke me at that time. Yeah, but, but you understand what I'm saying, yes? Take a look around you. Really, look around you. These are the people you want to see in heaven. So you better like them. Hallelujah. And if you don't like them, tough. That's why we need to move in the Spirit. Only through the Holy Spirit we'll have love and we'll have joy. And that's why I call you love joy, yes? The fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, continues, yes? So, what is the kingdom of God? Is it mourning or is it rejoicing? Ah, righteousness, peace, and joy. I taught you on that, yes? So let's sing about that, yes? That's the problem with Malayalam movies. They're full of violence, yeah? You know what Mahatma Gandhi said? No violence, only guitars, yes? Get it? No violence, yeah? No violence, get it? You don't get it. No violence. Yes? So he had Satyagraha, but if he was a musician, you'll say no violence, only guitars, yes? Oh, God. Anyway, me. For those who understand the joke, hallelujah. For those who don't understand this joke, when the rapture happens, you will understand this joke, yes? Jesus will explain that to you. Hallelujah. Yes? Talking about rapture, she wanted the rapture to happen before the exams, yes? I met this guy who told me, I hope the rapture doesn't happen until I get married. <laughs> I looked at him. He was driving a Jeep at that time, yeah? I said, after I get married, then the rapture can happen. But till that time, no rapture. We have our own ideas and everything about God, but that is so what is unique about us. And God doesn't condemn us because of that. And the kingdom of God is what? Righteousness, 
peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. And that Holy Spirit is moving in our midst. Hallelujah. If you're serious and uh, I don't know what is the word solemn and stoic. I got news for you. The kingdom of heaven is not like that. When you get there, you're going to be surprised. It's going to be loud, noisy, joyful. Hallelujah. There's no room for sadness and Malayalam movies where you have violence playing and I don't know. Full of running around trees there. Hallelujah. Singing la 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 la. Yes. Righteousness, peace and joy. Yes. We need that in our life. You know that is the key to this disparity that you feel. Do you wonder why we have not yet made contact with God and received his joy? It is because of the poverty mentality that we have inherited through the culture, through our parents, through the lies. And the truth that we know will set us free. Amen? Hallelujah. And how do we do that? We meditate our minds. We meditate on the, renew our minds on the truth. And it will set us free. And it starts like this. Righteousness, <coughs> peace, nearer, <coughs> and joy in the Holy Ghost. Mm, I'll make a movie of that. Maybe I'll get money and I'll get joy. No. Do you understand? Jesus had come to him like a little child. Hallelujah. If anything, I should be the one grieving and sad about everything that has happened to me. When it should not happen to me. Hallelujah. But ha what should be your mindset as a Christian? Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. That is the kingdom of God. Take the song again. One more time. The righteousness, peace, and joy in the... That's the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Shout out unto him. Give him a praise. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. He set us free. Hallelujah. And he's setting us free. Hallelujah. I can see actually, hallelujah, some screws coming loose. And that is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's good that your few screws loose. Hallelujah. You are way too tight for the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. 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 Shabara barakara. Oh, yes. I see the Lord doing only what He can do. Hallelujah. Oh, shout out unto Him. Shout out unto Him. Hallelujah. Shabara barakara. Let's continue worshiping Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just want to add a few things uh, to what Megan has told. Uh, yes, uh, she has told how she reached this uh, to this course. So initially, we didn't have any idea. Uh, so how much the course fee would be, like a vague idea would be there. When later only we realized that the entire course fee would come to somewhere around nearly 20 lakhs. Um, I had no idea to go forward. Um, anyways, uh, the Lord has uh, gave her this course. So I asked Lord, how do I pay? Uh, but as uh, uh, as it is mentioned in Hebrews about our forefathers who had lived their life by faith, they gave a lot of examples of Noah and all. The key thought came to be thus far, uh, Megan hasn't had any issues in her life in paying the fees. So far, uh, we have been to thick and thin throughout the COVID days. Lord has been faithful. That only thought kept us, okay, let's go forward. And we had this just the sufficient money for that. Uh, there's a counseling. We have to pay that fee for her to be eligible to which sender she would be. So we just had that enough money. Uh, then uh, somehow my, one of my uncle came to know. Uh, he offered, uh, okay, I'll pay the first sem fee. He offered that money. But uh, immediately 
I didn't have any money in my hand, uh, me and Vijo. Uh, a strong uh, intuition in our, um, came to my heart, uh, both of us together that we, we by, with love, we refused that offering. And uh, we said, uh, God will provide. Uh, that was our faith. And as days go, went by, June 30th was the last day to, uh, for us to pay the first sum fee. And uh, fear started creeping in little bit little because we do not know, maybe the uncle, God made him, uh, spoke through him. So we were in double-minded. Did, uh, did we neglect what the Lord has to do? But um, uh, we kept it, Lord, it is from you. Uh, let her continue. And um, last moment, the 30th, 26th, uh, a client who has to travel um, yeah, later, maybe the July end, he immediately paid the full money, and we had that money to pay, and we paid for that. So glory to God. Uh, had we looked at this money, we would have been uh, stringed back. So we know that we have a, a God who is faithful, uh, and uh, by no means uh, we can pay this amount, but uh, I know the God will help us to pay this. And that is one thing. And second thing, Megan leaving us a to call it somewhere outside was so heartbreaking for me. I couldn't accept the fact that she's going to leave because in our traditions, uh, 12th, if kids leave, they are like that. They are in their own way. So these things I can't accept. And by God's grace, I, I am right now able to yeah understand the fact that she is leaving. The thing is that though she is leaving for a better thing, uh, I feel how... Um, our father would have felt that distress when we disobeyed and we left uh, fall. But God has a plan how God restores peacefully. I had her at, at my command of my uh, anything I couldn't call her. But now she is, as long as we are spiritually and connected, she will be at my disposal or I can call her at any time. Uh, that way, Lord is healing me in that area. Uh, and um, I had my, uh, like, if she goes there, she's, this coast and this city is with a lot of bling. How would he, she cop up with these things? Will she fall for this world? Um, but uh, again, the verse in Proverbs 22, 6 says, train up a child in the way she should, uh, he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. And by God's grace, we were able to, we, are, we were not perfect, but we were able to bring our child in the word of the Lord. I believe um, this, not even one uh, scripture will be broken. This will come to pass in our life also. And I understand that um, I have told my kids, whatever job we do, whatever studies we study, the primary thing is to be a fifth gospel, to be an apostle of Christ, to, to, to be a living testimony of Christ. As Paul says in 2 Corinthians 3, you are an epistle written in your hearts, known and read by all men. Clearly, you are an epistle of Christ, ministered by us, written not with ink, but with the spirit of the living God, not on tablets of stone, but on tablets of flesh, that is, of the heart. And I pray that Megan will stand for this. She will bear a testimony. Whatever she does, whatever, wherever she goes, let it be for the glory of God. And Christ be honored in everything. And, uh, and, uh, when she got, we had no connection, literally no connection in Hyderabad. I was afraid. We was, uh, but uh, this scripture came to me. Uh, the uh, the most glorious ways uh, Lord speak to us uh, from Acts 18:10. Do not be afraid. Keep on speaking. Do not be silent. For I am with you, and no one is going to attack and harm you, because I have many people in the city. So I was all wondering, who is this many people, Lord? Then. <laughs> Uh, we had no one actually to be uh, to be dependable in that say. Uh, then, uh, we, as we were talking to me, uh, as Megan has got somebody, we just very far relative aunt, first cousin is married in Hyderabad. She said, "I will give some connection." So, in this form, I had to I had a column to fill in a local guardian. So I didn't find. So immediately she called up, and uh, they were from an Orthodox family, uh, like I was. And lo and behold, they were a rascal as me, and they were now uh, faithful servants. They, they attend to a church, and a man of God who preaches, who knows the word of God in and out. And we spoke, and we prayed for some time, and 
God miraculously has appointed someone for her as a local guardian. And moreover, okay, now that is done. Nia, most of us, if you know Nia, after that she gets a job offering from Hyderabad. You know, she's a kind of thug guy. Uh, and now, from tomorrow onwards, she's joining an office in Hyderabad. She has, uh, miraculously, Lord has planned everything. And uh, that is a great testimony and how we should move. We should not, we walk by faith and not by sight. Thank you, uh, Pastor, and all the church members who has kept her, seen us through her growth, um, fed her with the Spirit of God, with a lot of love. And I'm so happy and grateful for this church and for the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's give the glory to the Lord. Hallelujah.